James and James, Daily Freak Show. I'm standing here with my good friend, Dollhouse Head Man, one of the great legendary legends of Hollywood Boulevard. You're on TMZ a lot lately, am I right? Yes, they do call me the Dollhouse Dude, yes. Now, as somebody who has worn a few Dollhouses on his head himself, can you tell me what is it all about and why do you do it? That was January the 14th. I decided to wear the dollhouse on my head for the first time. And In honor of Britney? No, I knew there'd be publicity there and I want to publicize the idea that it should be a human right for everyone to have a home. The dollhouse represents the need for everybody to have a home. Right. right. People might look at you and say crazy, but I say crazy like a fox. Tell me, what is basically people's reactions when they see you on the street and you're toodling around on your little scooter here. Well, most of it is laughter, which is good. I love it when people just crack up. Every club kid in America, every drag queen knows that same thing. You get more with laughter than you do with anger. Right. You know? And once you get the people laughing, then you can start explaining your, your, your platform. If you play the fool, you get the attention you need for the issue. Play the fool. I love you, dollhouse head man. Well, I also know that you are for rent. I am for rent. And why would someone want to rent the dollhouse? Well, because I can uh, be a party animal, dance all night. Yay, oh my god, me too, right? And uh, I can also be the party pooper. So you people can call when they want a party pooper. They want somebody to close down the party. I start talking about religion and politics, and uh, <laughs> and the party's over. And how much do you charge? Usually three sandwiches and a Coke. <laughs> you also are a songwriter, and you have a new song for us? Yes, the new song is kind of universal. You can sing it to any tune, and it's just simply, Do not give Viagra to a donkey. Don't give Viagra to a donkey. Don't give Viagra to a donkey. Donkey. That's good. What other songs do you have? Well, uh, the Viagra to a Donkey is the first one. Well, let's put it on iTunes and see how much money we can make, okay? okay. okay so tell me what you're wearing now, what, what's going on. It's a whole look. This is not just thrown together. This was very thought out, is what I'm thinking, yes. I see an airplane wing back there. I see some lays. Let's see, what's that? I see some more. I see all sorts of things happening. It looks like you might be in need of a new dollhouse soon. Well, uh, this one has a lot of meaning already. I have signatures from several well-known comedians. One of them is George Lopez. The whole suit should be signed by people that speak every language of the world. And we all speak a universal language. All I have to do is go like this, and you know what I'm saying, right? Right, right, right. If I go like this, you know what I'm saying. I know, I know where you're headed. And, uh, you know... So now, do you, are you an artist? Are you a writer? Are you a political activist? What do you consider yourself, and are you everything? Yeah, I feel uh, like a little of everything. Are you homeless? Do you have a home? I'm homeless because I have a feud with my family. Are they not accepting of the dollhouse? Right, that's part of it. How dare they? If you want to fucking wear a dollhouse, who are they to say you can't? Well, uh, you know, there were other issues with my wife, so that's the main problem. Kick her to the curb. Have you been staying in your van? Right. I have two vans. One of them was my bedroom before the city repossessed it due to parking tickets, which in a lot of cases are just simply traps. They will get you coming and going. I know this. Right. And that was your home, and they took away your home. Right. Oh. And, and they've done it to so many people. It's a cruel and unusual punishment of... And if, if, you, if you don't have a BMW, if they don't like the look of your car, then they're going to get you even more. What did, your, what did your van look like? Did it have a dollhouse on it? The hood flew off on the freeway, so I put a mesh and I put my dollhouse... <laughs> <laughs> Good ornament, and the police here have told me to remove it from Hollywood. You can't fight City Hall. Yes, you can. You can. Let's go fuck him up. And I'm not talking about violence or anything like that. We can get him. You know, the pen is mightier than the sword. I don't say that we're going to live happily ever after, because that only happens in Hollywood. Uh, but <laughs> we will be a little bit happier, I assure you. Do you really think that these things that can help us out will come to pass? There is a lot of hope, and it is the 
the will of the people that has to be respected. Would you lead us? Would you be our leader? I'd be more than glad to. It's been a pleasure talking to you, and I look forward to seeing you every day on Hollywood Boulevard, where you are a legend. Yay, welcome. There he goes, folks, my hero. How could I let you?